I might be crazy because I am setting out on a multi-week, multi-month journey <laughs> to try every Little Debbie's ice cream flavor that I could find at my grocery store. I might have lost it, but let's dive in. <laughs> I have never tried any of the Little Debbie's ice cream flavors before, though I have eaten quite a few Little Debbie snacks in my life. They were a, uh, a lunchbox staple for me in school growing up. So um, I am actually pretty excited to finally try these. I have been passing by them in my grocery store for a while and thought, I, I really wanna try those. But obviously it would not be um, great for my health to just eat a ton of ice cream all at once. And I also don't wanna waste anything. So that's why this is going to be spread out over multiple weeks, over a few months. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's dive in, starting with, to me, a classic, the zebra cakes. And they do have a seal over top of them, so that's nice. It looks promising. It does have some beautiful, wonderful swirls in there. All right, let's try it. I mean, it's good. It's very um, soft, very creamy ice cream and very rich. I mean, does it make me think of zebra cakes? Yeah. If, if somebody just handed me this ice cream, didn't tell me what it was and I took a bite, I would think it was just an ordinary run of the mill vanilla and chocolate ice cream swirl, which is still good. There might be a hint of something that, I mean, it might be wishful thinking that makes me like lean a little bit towards zebra cake, knowing that it's supposed to be zebra cake flavor. I mean, fair, those are the flavors. It just, I don't take a bite of this and like the only thing I can think of is zebra cake. You know what I mean? It tastes more like zebra cake inspired ice cream as opposed to ice cream that is completely recreating the exact flavor of zebra cake. So, as far as flavors go, I mean, like I said, it's a good ice cream. On a scale of one to five, I would probably rate my enjoyment of this one at like a four, four out of five. It's pretty good. So this is one of my favorite Little Debbie snacks. It's the Swiss roll ice cream. I love Swiss rolls. I used to take them in my lunchbox all the time back in school. Looks like it has some pieces in here, maybe of some of the cake. Let's try it. Okay. That's pretty similar. That's pretty good too. It tastes a little more fudgy than I was expecting, I think. And we do have pieces of the, like there's ribbons of the cream throughout the ice cream here. And it does have some little chunks of the cake. If I didn't know it was a Swiss roll ice cream, I would probably guess that it was like a fudge cream ice cream. I've never been a like plain chocolate ice cream girl. I was always more of a vanilla or strawberry ice cream girl. And so this isn't too overpowering chocolate for me. It's a good balance with that and the cream flavor. And knowing what they're going for and tasting it, it does definitely resemble the flavors of a Swiss roll. I think Swiss rolls have a lot more cream to cake chocolate ratio. But I think as an ice cream though, I think that definitely works. I understand what they're going for. I can taste those flavors that they're going for. It re still resembles the dessert, even if it's not an exact one-to-one -one match on flavor profile. And it's pretty good. So I'll say that's a win. I'm gonna give it a 4.7. Nutter Butters were another school lunchbox dessert for me, so I am really curious to see what the nutty bars taste like. Smells peanut buttery. Okay, we've got some promising swirls going on in here. Let's see. Oh, this one's frozen very hard. <laughs> Looks like it has little bits of something in there too. I am not mad at that. So basically nutty bars are just wafer, peanut butter, and chocolate, right? I think this does a pretty good job of recreating that flavor. I think it's a peanut butter based ice cream. And then we have little chocolate swirls in here to add some of that chocolate flavor in. The wafer bits are okay. Again, it's not 100% the absolute flavor of 
nutty bars but it is very similar to the flavors all the right flavors are there there just may not be quite at the right proportions but they're close enough this ice cream does resemble nutty bars i can see what they're going for and it does taste good regardless of that it still tastes pretty good too so it's pretty close it tastes good i'd say this one's another win I'm gonna give it a 4.5. I'm excited to try the oatmeal cream pies because I love oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like we might have some cookie bits in there. Same thing again with this one. The ice cream is basically being used as that cream flavor and it does taste nice and creamy. It tastes pretty similar. Maybe not 100% spot on, but pretty similar to the cream filling and the oatmeal cream pies. And it does have some little cookie pieces of like oatmeal cookie in here. And they are quite nice. So far, just from, I mean, I'm not very far into it. So I don't know if it becomes, if there's more further down. But so far on top, it seems like the cookie pieces are pretty sparse. So there's not even a high concentration of them. It's a little on the lower concentration side. So it's mostly like cream ice cream with a little bit of oatmeal cookie pieces in there. The flavor is good. It it's a good tasting ice cream. I'm enjoying it. It's just that the proportions aren't right to taste exactly like you're eating an oatmeal cream pie, right? That's why I'm having a hard time rating. Also because I rate flavors like homestyle vanilla is like a five out of five for me. <laughs> but I understand to some people vanilla is just feels plain. But for me, I'll give it a four. <laughs> it's time to try the honey buns. I'm excited for this one. Ooh, that looks promising. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> it's frozen very solid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> That's actually really good. Mmm. It's sweet. It's creamy. You definitely get a, a cinnamon punch. That is pretty darn good. And there's other bits in here too. There's like little, um, almost like cookie pieces. Because as I say, we have the cinnamon flavor, which is probably a little stronger in this actually than it is on the actual honey buns. And then we have the like icing flavor with the ice cream itself, but having the actual cookie pieces in there that do legitimately taste like the honey bun dough. I mean, that's like a 4.8 for me. Yeah, that's a 4.8. And as far as how close they got it to tasting like an actual honey bun, I mean, that was surprisingly pretty close. I'd say like a 4.5. You know, if it had more of the cookie pieces throughout it, so you're getting more of that flavor of the actual dough from the honey bun, that would raise it up higher. But uh, that's, that's pretty close. Also, uh, totally, totally have had the um, second ranking throughout this entire video so far and didn't just now think about that and retroactively add the other ones. No, totally, totally was on top of that from the beginning. The next up is the fudge rounds ice cream. Now I hadn't actually had fudge rounds, I don't think, before this. So earlier today I tried a fudge round <laughs> so that I would know what flavor this was going for. It was pretty good too. I was surprised. Sometimes when things are a whole lot of chocolate, it can just be a little too much chocolate for me. But I was really enjoying that fudge round. That's that was really good, so. So let's, let's see. Ooh, 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 yeah, there's like cookie bits in here for sure. Oh, it is so cold. Why did I decide to try all the ice creams in winter? Why did I make that decision? <laughs> oh. So the base chocolate ice cream really just tastes like an ordinary everyday chocolate ice cream. It's a good one. I mean, I, don't, I haven't eaten a ton of chocolate ice creams, but as far as chocolate ice cream goes, it's a good one. 
but it just tastes like ordinary plain chocolate ice cream. Where it's really at are the cookie pieces, which do taste like they might actually be the real cookie pieces from, from Fudge Rounds mixed in here. And then the lighter colored brown swirls that are in here, which do seem to be taste, which do seem to taste a lot like the icing filling in Fudge Rounds. But those two are pretty spot on. But they're smaller bits that are mixed within this like ocean of ordinary chocolate ice cream. So because of that, the ice cream overall doesn't taste a whole lot like fudge rounds, sadly. Um, it is still good if you are a chocolate ice cream fan. It is good, all the stuff does come together to make a nice ice cream flavor. I'd say it's probably like a, I was gonna say like a 4.2, but you know, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. I do like the, those cookie pieces and the, the center bits. Um, as far as how close it tastes to actual fudge rounds, probably probably like a 3.5, but it is good. It is definitely reminiscent of it. The cookie pieces are spot on, the icing bit is spot on. It's just, there's so much ordinary chocolate ice cream compared to how much of the other pieces there are. So there you go. Let's try the Star Crunch. Now, if there are not crunchy bits in here, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. <laughs> okay, 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 that looks promising. So it does look like there are some bits of something in there. And we have a chocolate vanilla swirl looking situation going on. Okay, this is promising. Okay, yep. You know? It's actually pretty close. I do think it's a vanilla base, but it's a very like creamy rich vanilla base. And that chocolate mixing in there does good. So you're still getting some chocolatiness, but it still has that like lighter sense. I think it does a good job of emulating that. It's not just, I think if this was a chocolate base ice cream, I think it would be too much and it just wouldn't taste right. So I think they did a good job in pairing that, but they still have chocolate throughout it. There's some like chocolate ice cream swirl, I think, and some actual like chocolate um, bits in there. Now again, if I went in blindfolded, not knowing what these ice creams were, I probably wouldn't have guessed that that's what this is supposed to be. But knowing what it's supposed to be, it's actually surprisingly similar to me. Um, yeah, that's that's odd. I'm thinking this one's probably like a, I'd give it a four out of similarity. I do quite enjoy it too, that's, that's quite nice. Probably a, uh, I think I'll give it another four out of um, how much I like it as well. So fours all around for this one. It's, it's pretty good and is surprisingly similar. So good job on that one. It is finally time for the Cosmic Brownie. <laughs> now I'm actually a little bit torn on this one um, <laughs> because as I've mentioned, I'm not a chocolate ice cream girly, and obviously this one's going to be a chocolate ice cream, but I love Cosmic Brownies. I mean, these things are, excuse my 90s, but these things are the bomb. Like, they are amazing. I, oh, these and Swiss rolls were the common, like, alternate out for desserts for my um, lunches I take to school. And I still just adore these things. I'm, uh, I'm a little torn and curious to see what I think of it. If it's too chocolatey for me or if it is fudgy brownie goodness. So uh, let's see. It does look like it has the beautiful little candy pieces, the little sprinkles on top. And it looks like I see some chocolate chips in there too. So hmm. let's see. Oh my goodness. How do they do that? It's not just chocolate ice cream flavor. That's a, that's great, actually. The chocolate ice cream itself 
does taste more, not even like a fudge ice cream. It does taste like a brownie ice cream, which is delicious. And I think there might actually be little chewy brownie pieces in here too. That is surprisingly close. You know, I think when you have a simpler flavor of snack cake like this, I think it makes it a little easier on them to try to recreate. So this one, they actually got really close. There's not a lot of different flavors you're trying to balance and combine there. Mm-hmm. Like, I really want to give this one like a 4.5 for how close it is. I mean, even not being a super chocolatey girly, it's not the like deep, deep rich chocolate. It's that lighter chocolate flavor. So I'm, I mean, I could eat a good deal of this. This, this could be a little dangerous. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I, I would say I, as far as how I, I like it, I'm gonna go with a 4.4. Are my ratings a little arbitrary and probably change from day to day? Sure. But um, we're gonna pretend that's a solid rating. I'm gonna call it a 4.4. <laughs> my birthday's coming up, so let's try the birthday cake one. Oh, we have sprinkles. Now this one, I feel like they should be able to do pretty well because it doesn't have a whole lot of different complex flavors going on. So I, I'm hopeful for this one being um, accurate, more accurate as well as tasty. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's basically just a vanilla ice cream, but the flavor of the vanilla, the creaminess, and the flavor that's going on there, it definitely does make me think of the, the birthday cakes. And of course it has our lovely little sprinkles in there as well. It's a really simple one, but it's also a really good one. So, for me, this actually rates really high. Now, I'm gonna give it a 4.5, 4.6. I'm gonna give it a 4.6 because it doesn't have something a little extra other than those delicious sprinkles to like put it over the edge, you know? And then as far as how similar it tastes, I mean, it's, it's pretty close, but I don't know that it's like a 100%. But I feel like I can definitely give this one like a, at least a solid four. Um, I mean, that is pretty darn close and also incredibly good, so. Oh, how fun and nostalgic is this? It's the unicorn cake one. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for this one. Oh, <laughs> look, it's pink with blue swirls. We've got little sprinkles in there. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. It says sparkling strawberry flavored ice cream. I also really like strawberry ice cream. So I'm excited. Let's see. They're very crunchy. The sprinkles are definitely very crunchy. I will say, I think this tastes pretty similar in that it has that very specific kind of strawberry flavor. It's not like a um, fresh strawberry ice cream flavor. It's more like that artificial, somewhat candy-like tasting strawberry flavor. Like if you've ever had those strawberry candies that come in the like red wrapper with the green top, it's kind of like one of those where it's, that's a very strong, it's a strawberry flavor, but it's a sweetened candy strawberry flavor, right? It's, it's kind of like that is what it tastes like. I don't know. I think, I think I'm going to say 4.5. We'll go 4.5 on that one. I'm a big strawberry fan. I would prefer if it was a little less candied flavor, but it is pretty similar to the cakes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 4.5. I enjoyed it. Would eat again. Uh, as far as how close it is, I'm gonna give this one like a 
Um, I'm not gonna go any higher because I can't remember exactly flavor for flavor. So I'm gonna go 4.6 on how uh, similar it tastes. And now we are down to the last flavor. Strawberry shortcake rolls. I can't believe we are down to the last flavor. It has been many weeks with many different ice creams, several of which I have shared with others because it's too much for me to eat on my own. I know there are other flavors of Little Debbie ice creams that exist. I know there are some Christmas flavors, which I didn't try in this. Maybe next year during the holidays, I might give those a try. And I know they came out with a few other flavors, I think a few months ago, but those were not at my grocery store, so those didn't get included in this group. So for now, this is our final one of this saga. <laughs> and I'm hopeful that this will taste good because I love strawberry. I like strawberry shortcake and strawberry shortcake rolls. So let's see. Oh, looks promising. It looks like we have a vanilla ice cream base with strawberry swirl in there. You can get better view of the swirls in there now that I've scooped some out. <laughs> let's see. Overall, it's pretty good. I think it does taste pretty fairly close to the <coughs> strawberry shortcake rolls. The strawberry swirl that's in there, it's pretty good overall, but it does have a little hint of, you know that stronger artificial flavor that you get sometimes in like uh, colored icings and things like that. There's that like artificial strong kind of biting taste. There is a little bit of that on the back end of the strawberry swirl. For the most part, there's some pretty good strawberry flavor there, but it does still have a tinge of that. It's not too bad, it's not all that it makes up. So I mean, it's it's not, it's okay. Um, but it is still there on the back end. I think I probably liked the unicorn cake a little better just because of that. Um, but that's not bad. All in all, that's not bad. I mean, I'm enjoying that. That's that's pretty decent uh, bit of ice cream. And I think it does have little cake bites in here too. I don't know if I mentioned it in the, uh, in the birthday cake or the unicorn cake one, but both of those did also have these little squares of little cake bites, I guess, um, in those as well. They're just a little further down in the pint. So I didn't get them in the first few bites, but they did have those as well. So. That is nice as a nice little addition. I think as far as how much I like it, I'm probably gonna rate this one, I'm gonna give it a 4.3, I think. Um, just because of that slight, like I said, it is slight, but just because of that slight biting artificial taste on the end of the strawberry swirl flavor. Overall, pretty good still, 4.3, I think. And as far as how close it is, how similar to the actual Little Debbie snacks, I feel like I can give this one a four. Four out of five for that? I think so. Well, my curiosity is now satisfied. <laughs> I now know what all those Little Debbie ice cream flavors at my grocery store taste like, so I'm, I'm pleased. I think that overall, my thoughts on these ice creams is that overall they're pretty good. I enjoyed them. Uh, and I could definitely taste in pretty much all of them that they were definitely inspired by the snack cakes. I could definitely taste that correlation and that was a really fun ice cream treat in that way. But a fair amount of them didn't have quite the right flavor ratios to be exactly like the snack cake tastes. And on a fair amount of them, it did also seem like whenever they had a flavor swirl or whenever they had little pieces of something in there like little cookie bites or things it did seem like there wasn't as much of a concentration of those as i've had in other ice cream brands before but the ice cream itself was pretty good overall i'm pretty pleased i think there are a few flavors that i might get again you know every once in a while i do think there that uh i might get some of these again especially i tell you what that birthday cake one and the unicorn one 
together in like a little sundae, maybe throw in some of that cosmic brownie to get a little trifecta going. That made a pretty good sundae together. I mean, I'm just saying that was really good together. <laughs> But that is the end of our journey for now. And uh, I'm, well, I'm actually probably gonna be eating some more ice cream soon because there are some Valentine's flavors and it is officially entering Valentine's season. So keep an eye out for those shorts coming. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.